By default, dimensions are associative. That means that all the parts of the dimension, the dimension line, extension lines, arrowheads, and dimension text, are treated as a single object that is attached to the object being measured. If you change the size of the object, the dimension updates automatically to reflect the changes. You do not need to make any changes to the dimension itself. For example, when you click to select the dimension, the entire dimension, including the dimension line, extension lines, arrowheads, and the dimension text all highlight because they are all part of a single object. Press Escape to deselect the dimension. Then, click to select the object, click the grip in the upper right corner, and then drag that grip to change the size of the object. The dimension automatically updates to reflect the new size of the object. It does this because the dimension is associative or attached to the object. As you make changes to the object, the dimension continues to track those changes and immediately updates. Do not explode the dimension. If you explode the dimension, it will no longer be associative. For example, on the home ribbon, in the Modify panel, click the Explode tool. The program prompts you to select objects. Click to select the dimension and then right click. Now when you click to select the dimension, only the part you choose is selected. The dimension has been reduced to individual components and will no longer update when you change the object. On the Quick Access Toolbar, use the Undo tool to undo the Explode command so that the dimension is once again an associative dimension attached to the object.